that a little too dramatic for you? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to try to keep myself in check here and focused because you definitely wouldn't have wanted to uh, been around me like at three o'clock today when all this started dropping. And um, yeah, I am definitely, definitely hyped. I think let's make our way to the forums first because Will just a little bit ago uh, put the official forum post out on this. And uh, if you haven't got a chance to check that out, I will read it off to you and then we will go and start reviewing the first screenshot we've got and um yeah we'll kind of just talk about this new studios pack dlc that is dropping next tuesday so nothing we'll have to wait for to like i was so hoping like once they finally started like once the live stream started today where they announced this i'm like please don't say like april 28th or april 14th it can be yours i'm like yeah and then when they said next tuesday you know i almost died but anyways so yes this is the beginning of the forum post. Dazzle your guests and leave them spellbound in an aura of movie magic with all the new Planet Coaster Studios pack. Working behind the scenes, put on a show like no other, and they'll be talking about your talkies for decades to come. On March 27th, we are releasing the Action Pack Studios pack for you to get creative with. Our newest paid content pack is specifically catered to those who want to bring that glitzy Hollywood glamour to their park. With new props, stunts, animatronics and special effects to boot you'll be able to breathe new life into those park centerpieces the content pack contains three new rides the big screen tour uh, electrically powered tour buses that can be used as a transport or tracked ride remotion an electrically powered tracked ride with an adjustable robotic arm um, that holds the seats four points of articulation allowing the seats to be moved freely in all directions and finally the horror heights scream in uh, scream in terror in this classic multi-drop tower set the stage and throw your guests with new static and animated building attachments props vehicles character animatronics and placeable special effects with impressive stunt men and women, stunt fall boxes, stunt fall dumpsters, and even breaking windows, you'll be able to put your guests right in the middle of the action. And don't forget about what goes on behind the stage. New wall set, construction props, and Metropolis wall tiles together with Planet Coaster's existing themes will allow you to build those far from glamorous but essential backlots. In addition to the paid content, we're releasing a small free update to all players, which includes hotels to keep your guests sticking around for longer, eagerly awaited path tunneling, allowing you to place a path shaped holes in terrain, as well as triggerable flexi color on objects and triggerable time of day in the ride camera. Night becomes day in a flash. The Planet Coaster Studios pack is completely optional for you to purchase, and you can get it from Steam or the Frontier Store for £7.99, $10.99 US. Please note that you need to have Planet Coaster Base Game in order to download and play any of this extra content. Are you ready to be in the movies, kid? So... That was a mouthful, and um, I am just totally floored. Um, it was like I it was, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I was joking around with uh, Delady Signer and a couple other people. I had just messaged Paige yesterday, and I'm like, hey, Paige, why don't you come up off some of that nice, uh, secretive planet coaster news? And lo and behold, the next day, uh, we got this blasted on us and i am uh like i said i am not affiliated with frontier planet coaster anything like that so it was just a weird coincidence of timing uh that i asked one of the community managers and then the next day uh we get this dlc drop but you know it was time it's it's just it's the end of that adventure uh you know three months ago just that three month cycle so um, it's just Frontier has a has a way of just timing this stuff out and getting us back on that hype train train uh, just perfect timing. So basically, yes, next Tuesday we will have our hands on this. And um, based by this screenshot, which I'll actually uh, will pop up on the screen right now, um, you 
Uh, the first thing that pops out of my mind is, oh, yeah, I'm redoing Jaws. So, I mean, we have, obviously, the first thing that pops out to you is the is the shark with his mouth open. And it looks like a little pirate up here is actually has walked this plank, you see, this little piece of wood, and he is actually falling into the shark's mouth. So, I think that's what Will is talking about as far as new... Um, you know, anime, uh, you know, animatronics and, and, and their, uh, and their, um, like a, a placeable animatronic movement. So I'm thinking that pirate's whole gist is he probably falls off that plank. And we don't know if it's like with the aliens guys and the, and the, the, uh, the troopers that kind of just sh get shot and fall over. But, um, more or less this guy may actually have some, um, some, some height and dimension to him. I'm thinking he falls all the way down to that shark. I don't, I don't see why he would just fall off the plank and stop in midair. Um, so that guy has probably got some height to him. And also, um, I was saying earlier on, uh, on one of the discords, uh, we, you can see that you've got the first shark here, obviously, but if you look off to the right, kind of where you see one of the, what I believe is a new female pirate, um, you've got a shark in the water as well. So I am thinking that they are going to follow the crocodile pattern. So you will have breaching shark, swimming shark, uh, attacking shark, um, who knows what kind of little, uh, you know, kind of little animatronics they'll, they'll, uh, throw in. But I'm assuming with us being able to see two different types of sharks here, we will have a few different types of, uh, of animations. So yes, that is going to be awesome. We've got another animal added in. And, um, so yeah. And then also in this picture, another big noticeable, uh, event going on here is the, uh, the, the, uh, the new, uh, big screen tour, electric powered tour buses. So definitely got a back lots kind of, uh, kind of vibe to them. It'd be interesting to see if, if it's just that, um, it'd be really cool. Um, we don't know if it's just that generic type of, um, of tram or if there's going to be different theme type of trams, you know, like adventure tram, you know, uh, kind of like, uh, you know, forego maybe, um, Kong Skull Island type trams, you know, that would be really awesome. But I think for the gist of it, it's probably just going to be the big screen tour, um, you know, kind of how it is right now. So we know, we already know this will be a transport ride or a track ride, um, you know, with, the. Um, with, uh, that'll kind of help tie in with this back lot type of stuff. So, you know, that is a, that is going to be a really, really cool addition. And, um, yeah, you know, we, we had talked for a while about what are they going to do to top adventure pack. And I think with adventure pack, you know, the adventure pack was great, but the adventure pack kind of lends itself. I mean, there's a lot you can, you can do with the adventure pack. Don't get me wrong, but this studios pack is what really, I think, um, so many people were waiting for. It is going to be such a versatile, um, you know, set as far as everything that we know that's going to come with it. Um, and the main, one of the main points too, is, um, they've listened to our pleas and we are also getting glass. So that is going to be really cool, especially for some of the facades that I've wanted. Um, you know, I, I think the facade, like as far as me using facades, I think they tell a really, really cool story. And, um, I think I've been hampered a little bit by the in game windows. It just, I, I find myself not being able to give that look, um, that, that I want to give a certain building or facade. And now with the glass pieces, um, I think we'll really be able to enhance, uh, that storytelling. So, um, moving on here, let's see what else. Oh, I know, um, another thing that we were kind of speculating on, um, as far as the remotion, um, the electrically powered track ride with adjustable robotic arm goes, um, I immediately think of a Harry Potter, um, you know, different type of, you know, we're going to have, we're going to have these like, um, interactive screens that we'll be able to mess with. And, uh, you know, you immediately, uh, think of escape from Gringotts, even though, you know, I know that's kind of more coaster, but still uh, just the things we're going to be able to do, uh, the, the transformation that people are going to be able to do with the dark rides now, um, just with this equipment that we're giving or that we're being given. Um, it is just, I, I think it's just going to, uh, 
it is going to set the bar for these amazing creations that, 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 that these guys are going to do with these dark rides. I mean, I'm not even really a big dark ride guy, but um, I, who knows what, what the community is going to come up with, uh, with that. And then uh, I, would be a, I would be amiss if I left out the, uh, the scream in terror, uh, the horror heights, the classic multi-drop tower. So we definitely think they're, they're riding this universal, uh, you know, uh, th- this, uh, th- this train. And um, I think that it, it is going to be, um, well, not necessarily even universal, but the, I, I immediately thought of, um, of Tower of Terror. Uh, in uh, in Hollywood Studios, so um, I, I just think that that is going to be totally insane. And I think it's another thing. Like, yes, right now we're kind of calling it, you know, quote unquote horror heights. But just think of like um, a sci-fi elevator ride you can do, like where you're being shot off into space, and all these different space battles could be going on. And um, just kind of like with with uh, speaking of. Um, some new updates we're getting from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, one of the hotels. And, and just so, you know, I've, you probably heard mention in the open monologue, we're getting hotels as well. But it seems like some of the story with that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is you will actually ride a hotel from essentially what is um, the the, uh, the planet that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is on, you ride the hotel, you ride the elevator, like a, kind of like a, a space type of elevator, to this space station that the hotel is actually going to be built around. So, I mean, just think of things like that. I think this will transcend just the Hollywood Studios tower idea that, that freshly uh, comes to mind. This will really open up different different levels of design um just like if you're doing like a uh just say a a mystery mind type deal where you want to have different screens and and different um sequences of events that that need that elevator type of touch um i I just i just think it's going to be absolutely insane um set the stage and thrill your guests with new static and animated building attachments that is more my game props vehicles character animatronics uh we'll go to this next picture that i um that I, th- I believe uh, John T uh, from Geekism tweeted out first, and if you look at all of this stuff that they're they're packing in, police cars, animated police, uh, animated policemen, um, just the the little camera guy there, all of this stuff is um, is really going to, and that's what goes back to one of my earlier points. That this set is one of those sets that is going to totally transcend what the what what the pieces were originally intended for. I know a lot of these DLCs actually do that because you know me, I'm, I'm making like a submarine out of the Back to the Future pieces for my aquarium. So, you know, I, I am kind of used to um, using this stuff not for what it was intentionally used for, but I think this is more of a broader type of not so hardcore planet coaster players um, that just want to build their regular parks and have like um, some sensible backlot areas. Um, this is going to change the game for them. Um, glass, you know, the hotels. So many people have wanted hotels. Game changer for them. Um, glass pieces. Game changing on glass pieces. Like this is, um, yeah, this is one of those ones that we will be using. I mean, I, I know, I know, I personally just looking at what we have and the ideas that I have swirling around. Uh, just one of those deals that I will be using forever. I see a lot of general coaster players using this stuff way deep into the summer. Um, and it's just, um, it, it's one of those things that, uh, again, we didn't know we needed it until Frontier um, ha- has given it to us. So I think it is, it's like, it's kind of like, it's like Adventure Pack, but on steroids. Like, just look how useful the trucks and the new wall pieces are. And just, I cannot wait to get my hands on this um, next Tuesday. And, you know, really the thing that sucks is we have a, I was actually, uh, this is going to sound great. I was off of work already um, Tuesday and Wednesday, but we've got some pre-planned stuff already in Pigeon Forge. Like I've already got a hotel rented, uh, too late to get out of. And um, 
So that was, this was kind of good timing and kind of bad timing, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be home early in the evening on Wednesday. So um, I will not have access to a computer on opening day here, but that next day I should get home and we will get us a full review out uh, of all these pieces and all of this glitz and glamour. And uh, yeah, I am totally, totally hyped for the studios pack and um yeah just you know get on the forums get on reddit um subscribe for more planet coaster content and i will be bringing you guys an in-depth review of all the new rides and the scenery pieces and all that and um you know follow the main channels follow me on twitter at s dan wolf and um ed and will said that they will be um probably giving out little tidbits over the weekend and the rest of this week on um, the different, uh, probably different screenshots. And I think once Bo gets back to, um, when, once Bo makes her way back to the UK, I believe she's in San Diego or San Francisco right now, um, doing some game shows out there. But once she gets back, I believe on Monday, um, they said, we're going to have a, a bigger preview and, uh, and get to see some of this stuff in action. So, um, yeah, guys, Thanks for stopping by and joining me. Um, I know this is kind of a, I've kept you here for about 16 minutes, but I just wanted to jump in and give you my thoughts on, um, on this new, uh, on this new pack that, that we are, that I am really, really looking forward to. And, um, Tuesday can definitely not get here soon enough. I know, um, we can, if we can just make it through the rest of this week, tomorrow's Friday Eve, we are getting closer. So the hype train has definitely smashed out of the station. But anyways, guys, yeah, speaking of smash, smash that like button. If you end up enjoying this video and subscribe for more Planet Coaster content, and we will keep this train rolling. I'm S. Dan Wolfs. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. See ya.